Hey Gunhub. Uh, I'm still on this. Is it survey out? As we set our sights on the future, we humbly request your input concerning brand integration within our game, particularly concerning weapons, gear, and equipment. Keeping it real matters in the way of the hunter, and your opinions steer our way. Share your thoughts, enjoy the journey, participate here. That opens up this. Continue. Hey, let's do it. That's not the right email. One second. Probably change the email after. That's the first one. We're, we're filling this out together. Uh, no, I'm not. Absolutely. Evaluate the quality of our existing selection. They're okay. Any other specific product? Mm, no, because I don't know that brand well. Remington. I'll give it a four. I don't know a good answer for this. I want to see their archery. I would like to see. What else do I want to see? Henry rifles. I guess it's firearms, huh? What other brands do we want to see, guys? What about duck, buck, rut? There we go, the Duck Dynasty family. Did I recognize? No, I did not. Am I literally going to answer the same question again? I'm not. Stop. Stop it. God. I I don't recognize the brand, so. Sure. I love the loophole stuff. Pretty most awesome. I wouldn't know. They're all uh, I use Primos, so I'm happy with that. Uh, I use the Jeep. The first UTV vehicle that springs to mind. A Ranger. I know. I don't know who makes ATVs. <laughs> what do you think? Who makes ATVs? I'm just gonna Google search the first company that comes up. How about that? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Can Am. I thought Can Am was like side by sides. I guess they do make them. Last off-road vehicle. It's not a Ranger. That's a Polaris. That's the other one. Yes. Give me the real vehicles. Any additional thoughts? Back to the game. Gotta switch your capture. It's got... Are you running yet? Are we there yet? Thanks, it cycles through a specific album. So I see my great one sometimes. Sometimes I see that melanistic mule deer. Uh, I've seen... Different, like, pictures I've taken in certain rooms of my trophy lodge. Let me know if you can hear the fan. I got a Mountain Dew. It is 4.49. Which means I actually started stream on time for once. I'm so excited people are getting the wedding invitations. You don't hear it. Uh... Oh. I already forgot what I had asked you. Jeez. hunt over here because I haven't done a lot there. I want to get in some of these areas. I apparently haven't done anything in the small pause area. So, we're going to do that. Nope. Just the parking. I'm going to have to fast travel back here just for the Jeep. I don't remember how this one works out the best. Okay. Let's do a tier five. 
um, like a bone. That curve. That's the Hoyt curve, right? Because Matthews is like super up and down, but Hoyt has a nice solid curve to it. So this is like a Hoyt bow. Both. I want deer. I'd like elk. And jackrabbit? Want to, I would like to put another collar in this spot. Tomorrow morning. We have Jeep. I almost own all of them. Only two more bows. All of this. I didn't buy some of these in-between ones. The three pin site. I don't own any of these. Boundaries. I could buy those. But only one of them. Okay. There was a point. Yeah. I forgot I was going to fast travel. I also keep hitting M. Let's not be the game for this. There we go. I want to head west. <laughs> Jump! Okay. I have no idea what's going to be out here. Not a clue, but I do know that there seems to be some water here. There's a trail, water here, here, and I think here there's a sliver? Maybe not. Maybe just the two spots. Uh, mark the water. Figure it out. in the morning right now as well so there's also a good enough chance something could be down there I almost played classic again today but I figured it probably wasn't a good idea and I still since we didn't finish recording on the other map uh, I didn't switch back yet. I didn't want to bring it for all the wild. Have it be on my beginner playthrough. Oh, goodness. I haven't had Mountain Dew in a really long time. I wonder if this is a new white tail zone. I can... Did I shoot it? Got it. Alright. 
It was not long enough. I need more. Let's see. Crawling slowly. Nothing to see here. I'm probably gonna have to go back on my own in single player and get at least a mallard because ducks don't really work in multiplayer. But the chamois, I'm so shocked I didn't get any because they were everywhere in the beginning. Could have just ran one over and gotten it. But I don't think I'm going to go back for a diamond since we got a rare. You know what I mean? Good. Get over here. I would like to shoot you with the bow. Hear that freaking badger. Probably the female one, I think. Get up here! Hurry! Why does it sound like this badger's like on top of me? Hey, I missed. How far are you? Oh my gosh, you're so slow. I see two of them coming in. The back one looks like a mature from here. Very gray.
so small. It'll do. missed. I need you to do it. come closer. I wonder why my waypoint keeps moving. It's very subtle. But it's definitely moving. I think they both just screamed. There's somebody's face. That's the other one spooked. He did.
to like your uh, elite sound alerts. Just ask me. I don't feel like I'm standing up all the way. Or can I hear you? Oh. Well, you know, it'd be really good if my brain decided to work and I could just unmute my mic. That might do it. Yeah, maybe. Because this headset, it's got a mute built in. That, and it's a switch. So, if, you know, you forget to flick the switch, it don't decide to work. Oh, I bumped him. So, how was work? Work happened. Um, <laughs> uh oh. Better than yesterday. We're. Okay. Very proud of my student good day for her. Good, good, good. Hi. And then this one was just, I tried to bring him down before he spooked the other one. <laughs> A lot of yeah, flesh. Because they say, like, that you're supposed to be able to drop multiple animals out of a herd if you pull them far enough out of the herd. That's where I've, like, brought animals out of herds, and they're, like, 100, you know, meters, yards away. And they're still spooking the hood the second I drop them. So, anything good today? Or you're not hiding any five stars from me, are you? It's not yet. Not in the last 30 minutes. That's the first thing I've been able to get down. Hmm. Might just be Kill a... Kill issues! Kill issues! Two barking. Yeah, so breaking news, college food does not cut it. Aha! Uh college -huh. thought they were really funny and smart, but they have, tonight, they have this thing where they're bringing in food trucks from the local area to come and feed us. Well, you know, so they're basically having, like, six food trucks feed the, let's say, thousand of us that are already here. So, mm -hmm. uh... You know, the lines are longer than anything else, so I got my one basically hot dog is what it was. Mm -hmm. Decided that's not enough, came down back to my dorm, saw you were on, and now have ramen in the make. Ooh, I love ramen. College, hey, it's a college staple. I can make some right now. Cause I make it in my office all the time. I use my electric kettle to boil water, and then I just pour it over the noodles and let it sit for like four minutes. Well, had the postal service done its job, I would have had a kettle up here. But we ordered it from Amazon. Amazon said it was delivered. It was handed off to the United States Postal Service in my town, and waited a week. <laughs> By the time a week passed, I had to come up to college, and now my mom is fighting with Amazon on where the hell is this thing so she can return it. Mm. Give me elk or give me death. Okay, well, no los dos. Why not both? I mean, ideally, I would get both. I'm so excited, though. People are getting the wedding invites. Yay. So when is mine coming in the mail? <laughs> I can even, you've known me for a whole three months. You, you can trust me with this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Waluigi, calm down. Wah! <laughs> That's actually closer. Here. 
Anybody turn around? Oh, shoot. If it's white tail versus elk, I'll take the white tail. I keep trying to use a scroll wheel to get through my stuff. Let's do a high fitness run. See what we get. Um, I want to see what's above the hill. Sky. I don't think I'm going to be able to see that high. Oh, there's something light up there. We're going that way. It's just a rock. I'm calling it. It's moving, so it's definitely a deer. But if it's a mature or an albino, that's the question. So I spent at least two hours today trying to get the one Tikamoon mission done to take an Egyptian goose out of the air with a bow. Mm -hmm. Got a whole nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Yep. I don't know, because like in classic, they have a couple of missions where it's like, take a pheasant out of the air with a snake bite. Take Which a... Is a nightmare. Yeah. Take a I'm Canadian goose obsessed. out of the air, and I think for that one you have to use a long bow. I could be wrong, but... But this one is just kind of like... Something about the physics of the ballistics engine just doesn't seem right for it. Jesus Christ, are they all mature and old? Well, when it comes to them, I can watch you. There's a high fitness going towards me. These guys are all oh, super grayed one. out. But he's the only one responding to the call. So, so I guess I'm we're going to leave him cool. alone. Yeah, which, you know, works out that he's kind of hiding himself from you. He just walks off the cliff edge looking for you. I wonder if they will. <laughs> Does that count as killed, uh, killed by roadkill? I ended up uh, running over a 93% uh, two-star adult honey badger today. Are you seriously going to walk off um, this cliff? God, if they ain't one of the prettiest pictures ever. And then you just hit some uh, rocks tumble and then a bone, uh, bone shattering fall. <laughs> He's just chilling! <laughs> I wonder if I could like range him. Oh, there he is. He's a two-star mature. But I'll bet you he might get up to three stars. Yes. That, that was that was cool. Can you come back to the edge? You're still kind of hanging there. Look at you. Supposed to pause time. I'm gonna try this. Turn around. I'm gonna try and shoot him from here. Nope. You have to lob it up over, straight up, so it should, uh, looks like. 300 feet in the air and falls right onto his back. Oh wow, wolves, and they're not scared. When, I don't know, because I haven't played uh, Nez in a while. But like, I see, I seem to remember like when I played Nez a while ago, like wolves were just one of those things where they would see you from like 300 meters and bolt. Like you would never see them. You would just see them in the distance running. Same with elk, too. Oh, 
Come on. <laughs> Let me do the cool thing. <laughs> This could be a TikTok. Come on, bud. Help me out here. of old age. Yeah, no kidding. Gosh. Homeboy's gonna age on the cliff. I must have missed. Yeah, he didn't buck at all. Which bow are you using? I don't know. I think you're using the 2 or 5 one. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm like... Because on the... Because I was just noticing, because the zero ring is slightly different, and the... Um... And I'm in metric, if that does anything. Oh, no. I'm in, I use it in metric, too, because I was sick and tired of it being, like, 37 yards. Weird freaking numbers. If they get why they do that, because it would be a pain to have to do ballistics for both systems, you know what I mean? But I really wish we could just get, you know, alright, if you're doing it in meters, then you get the standard, like, 50, 150, 300. If you're doing it in yards, you get 100 yards, 200 yards, 300 yards. I had somebody messaged me about like the wedding invites and he's like how did you spell my last name correctly and i said dude your name is on snapchat what do you mean how did i spell your name correctly i asked you how to spell it i double checked your address like four times uh my, my thing with my last name so obviously i'm not giving that much away but my Your last, last name, name is Colorado on YouTube and Kestrel on Twitch. Yeah, see? Multiple aliases. Mm -hmm. FBI is never going to find me. Mm -hmm. um, but my last name has two lowercase t's right next to each other in the middle of my last name. And I don't know why, but there's a very common trend that people, just the way, like, when it's typed out, they'll combine the two t's into an h into an uppercase H, which doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, it's gotten to the point where, like, they'll say it that way, and I go, oh, God, here we go again, me having to correct the money. <laughs> See, the issue with my name is a lot of people add extra letters that aren't there. Mm hmm <clears throat> Or they don't put enough letters. That too. <laughs> yeah. As much as I spook stuff in classic, I feel like I have better luck hunting there than I do in Way of the Hunter. I, I get that. Well, I think the thing with classic is, like, when you spook something, there's no way of telling, really, minus, like, sound, where the animal spooks from. But in Way of the Hunter, you know, it comes up with the UI icon, so you kind of go, well, crap, there was one right over that ridge, 50 feet away from me.
these elk like stop over there in the open, I'll just take a shot from across the way. Get down, Mr. President. Bang. Mm-hmm. And I know I just, I wanted to explore some new areas that I haven't been on those first, because I haven't been on the entire map. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, I wanted to get through here and, like, some of this stuff. And I know, like, that's not possible for some of this, because, like, these mountains over here are ridiculous, but, you know. Oh, yeah. I wanted to make the effort, even if it was minimal. <laughs> the map I've still done the least on is Transylvania. I think I've traveled a whole mile from the starting outpost. Jeez. I don't know, just something about Transylvania doesn't appeal to me. It's basically Hirsch. Right, but I mean, I'd rather play, like, Fall of the Wild Hirsch over Way of the Hunter Transylvania for some reason. Mm -hmm. See, I'd rather play Classic Hirsch, mm -hmm. and then Transylvania, just... and then Call of the Wild Hirsch. Shit! Hey! Oh! Classic is king for Hirsch. Okay! What was it? <laughs> oh. Yeah. I wonder if uh, I had anything well, to do with I the wolves. For, I think first that skill issue. Skill issue. Second wolf. Danger, danger, danger. Uh, I guess I don't want to go that way. Um, let's try this lake that I've never been to. It's gonna be a pain to get to, huh? There is a road over here. I'll try it from here. In that, in those top right swamps somewhere, um, I have a three-star adult moose wandering around. I saw him once, then my game crashed before I could like get his zone. And I've gone back to this area a bunch of times and I haven't found him yet. So I'm really hoping that He's still there. Fucking wolf. I just spawned in. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. They, you just never see them until they run off. I know I have some areas to go check for a five star bighorn. The bighorn in this game looks very nice compared to others. I think <laughs> the classic has the best corn model, but anything is better than wit of uh, better than Call of the Wild. But it looks like they just took a um, cor a corkscrew and just put it on the side of the head. This is a weird area. Why are there trees like this that are bent all the way over? And then there's just a bunch of normal ones in the area. Yes, Gunhub, you do hear you do hear a Danny. You do hear a Danny. I've come to pester Bree once again. That's alright. I can use it. <laughs> I'm so sleepy today. I still got one more day at work. And then you got the weekend, which means you need to sleep in. Mm, I mean, I still have to edit the Hirschfelden video. Well, true, but... <laughs> you also gotta figure out what you're gonna do with last night's shenanigans. Yeah. <laughs> I got time. So I got weird. time for that. Uh, what oh, I don't... Shit have done and or have time for is figuring out the Hirsch video because that's supposed to go live on Sunday and I have plans this weekend. Excuse Are me. you gonna go? Ooh, that was a good one. It was. Are you gonna go down? 
Hmm, let's see. Plans in Iowa. I could go for the stereotypical, you're gonna go do something with corn, but I think you'd throw something at me. The corn is the actually country. bad this year. Is it? Yeah, it's not good this year. It was, oh, uh, no. way too dry early on. And then it got way too hot and humid. Mm -hmm. We didn't get enough rain in the spring. And half of our state wasn't even planted in June. Which usually, like, Damn. 80 to 90% of the state is planted by the end of May. Is there going to be a way up for me over here? Oh, there's literally a pathway over here. I'm just making this harder it's than like, it needs to be. You remember, kid, climate change doesn't exist. Sounds like something PETA would say. <laughs> I'm not getting into that one. <laughs> They'll find out that I'm a zoology major and all of a sudden someone's gonna knock on my door waving a badge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. I was gonna ask you kind of a dumb question. I was gonna ask you, oh yeah, did you see uh, the news? Nope, you wouldn't have seen the news, because that was definitely a DM type of news. But there will be some news somewhere tomorrow morning. Uh. <laughs> oh, now, now you've scared me. I'll, I'll probably DM you, like, the stream that you should probably be in. Uh-oh. Is it- which game is it for? Oh, it's for Expansive Worlds. Oh, is it the uh, stupid that they're finally gonna announce when Angler comes to console? I can neither confirm nor deny that that may or may not be what it is. I think Pizza said something in one of Flinter's streams about it, like how they're finally announcing when that's happening. I'm just gonna, is like, that also happening this. tomorrow? I don't know. I think it may might be the end of August, but I could be wrong. That's what that's what we what I heard Pizza say was that EW had somewhere said that it was either this week or next week they were going to announce. Because I heard that by when, the end of summer it would be on console, which summer ends September twenty first. Yeah. I mean, and to be honest, the the angler just looks like trash that's just my opinion though i thought about getting it which hold on i gotta check something now that i think about it did i download that game do you think you can install a game while i'm streaming uh it might get, make your internet run pretty mm. badly <laughs> i have a point and i don't like that what are you doing you have your toy. cheap. Don't get it. It's not worth it. I don't. Mm, I don't. Okay. This sounds weird. I don't know if I would get the game to enjoy the game as much as I would just get the game to try it. Try it, make fun of it, and then ask for a refund. You're damn right. <laughs> You're damn skippy. I prefer Jif myself. <laughs> I get sick if I eat Jif. I think we've had this conversation. Probably. It, 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 Sounds it familiar. You were kind of ugly having that conversation with once upon a time. Yeah. Uh, I grew up with like a single mom situation, so we were on uh, Wick. And mm. it was like you had to get a specific brand of peanut butter and a specific size, and the options were Skippy or Jif, and she always got Skippy. And mm -hmm. since that's all I ate all of my childhood, if I eat Jif, I get sick. Oh. I so developed a sensitivity mother's... and intolerance. So my mother, uh, my mother and father, so long story short, um, they met in Florida doing flight safety to become pilots. Um, don't ask how mom from Iowa did that. Uh, even I don't know fully. So they moved to Alabama to teach um, near an Air Force base. 
to teach the new recruits how to fly like a little bush plane, a little Cessna, before, you know, they get thrown into the... Crop um, dusters. Yeah, before they get thrown into the things that can drop, you know, <laughs> a lot Do of damage. boom. Yeah. Um, and when they were living down there, my mom found out that she's not allergic to peanuts, but to peanut dust, which is what's kicked up when they harvest the peanuts in that area. Huh. So just the airborne particles that happens to be there, she cannot be around that. <laughs> yeah, but nope, she can handle peanut butter. She eats it by the spoonful some days. Same. Every day, <laughs> if I could. I have a jar of it up here at college in like my little Rubbermaid container full of food. That's I have a jar within arm's reach of my current sitting position. <laughs> I think that's called an addiction. Yes. <laughs> you want to know how big the jar is? I am scared. I'm gonna take a guess. Is it like the big like? Is it like what? Is, I can't remember how big it is, but is it like that big size to the point where it almost looks? It's more of shaped like in a barrel than it is a jar. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like it how I went all in on the extreme size, and you're like, yeah. Absolutely. I have a four pound jar of peanut butter up here in my office. So I guess I know what to send you for your wedding. Yep. Yippee. The blue. <laughs> the creamy. Skippy. I just need to put that on the list of things I need to throw your way. <laughs> Cheesecake. Steak. Cheesecake. There was a peanut steak, butter. Ribs, peanut butter. <laughs> This is just turning into a Midwest buffet. Yeah, it is. We just need the Minnesota salad. Uh, Minnesota salad. What? Hold on. I think I might know what that is. Yep. They come in many, many varieties, all of which are good and none of which are healthy like a salad. None of which are healthy. Now I'm over here looking for a spoon so I can have some peanut butter. So oh, got it. my mother makes. So now that I look at it, my mother makes a uh, version of this. Yeah, I bet she does. Except you want to know what she does to rot our teeth even more. Hmm. She uses a uh, Cool Whip. Oh yeah, that's the like base of all of them. Mm hmm. And like she'll throw in like random crap once in a while just to yeah. really get us going. Like one uh, one year she put in uh, cut up mango and that was really freaking good. Oh yeah. I'm trying to see if there's any water I haven't explored. I haven't really followed this river creek thing too much. I think that might be the first thing I go check out is that river. Hmm. There's a section. There's water here. Go try that too. There's a whole thing down here. I haven't done this whole edge of the map. Chunk River. This whole thing that goes up. Section. I'm gonna run out of freaking waypoints. That's a whole lake I need to look at. This one I followed all the way up. Haven't gotten to that lake. Followed this all the way. I have stuff to go look for. still have everything marked that we need to go look for. Look at all this. Okay, where do we want to start? I think this will be an easy one to get done. Apologies, uh, campus Wi-Fi had a quick stroke.
Jump. You can't jump over that thing? Come on, it's... There you go. Full sprint. It's like the, uh, the swings on Pikamoon. You can't actually jump onto them, which kind of disappoints me. I can hear animals running. It's just bad, dude. Don't worry about it. I'll try and get one. Issues. <laughs> I love that level of noise I can handle. <laughs> I just love how it's so drawn out. Got it! <laughs> We're good. We're good. I don't think any of them ended up going around this direction. I think they all circled around the other way except for like that one. What do you think? Uh... That one says animal survived. That one says this one went down. Now I say track that one, you'll probably run into the other one. Oh yeah, 100%. But I've gotten like four five-star mountain goats, so I really don't care. I have two, I think. I could probably be like, going like nose to the ground getting zones, huh? Did you see the survey that uh, THQ put out today? Yeah, we did it on stream. <laughs> oh, did you? Yep. Hello. That That's a lot. That, I said I wanted to see Winchester, more Marlin, more Remington, oh, no, just this more one. everything. This is the one that was going to survive until we shot it a third time and hit the brain. <laughs> You're just being thorough. Female. So I should have two down? I don't know what the joke was. Um... I don't see mountain goat. All right, well, we got one of them. There's a section. Which, if I remember correctly, the wind is bad this direction, so it's easier to come from here, even though it's further. Oh, dropped in. Cool. I can't believe we didn't break his ankles. I mean, come on, he's a stunt man. He can he can do that. Right. You know that what, how do you think Tom Cruise always lives? <laughs> Cuz I think the Scientology. That man definitely breaks his ankles. I think for one of his 
actual impossible movies. I think he fully like broke his leg or something. Yeah. I don't remember what it was. When he did like but, the like... building jump? Yeah. Yeah, he missed it. They kept it in the film and he broke his ankle. Mm -hmm. And he was out long enough for one of his co-stars to go out and have a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Full running. Uh, Jump! I don't know, I watched like that, for the first ever Mission Impossible movie, and I thought it was okay. But not enough to warrant <laughs> Tom Cruise getting seven, I don't know how many millions of dollars every year for it. Mission Impossible is just one man fast and furious. Yes. I mean, at least James Bond is some nuance to it. I'm enjoying peanut butter, I'm sorry. <laughs> Quiet, away. like a I'm dog. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just eating some Skittles so I haven't had it in years. That was the quietest splash for jumping the way I did. <laughs> I know, I do feel like for some, like, some things the sound needs to be allowed or like, I've had like a whole holy herd of Cape Buffalo going right in front of me in a, in a, what do I say, in a watering hole. And it just sounds like someone, a duck is just landing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Too dang quiet. And you know, speaking of ducks. Quack! I don't even mind that I'm going to make everything angry while I do this. Have you gotten charged by a deer yet? Well, I mean, you did kind of watch me die by getting run over by a bunch of whitetail. Oh. By a deer. Uh, but as far as aggression goes, uh, kudu. Kudu? I've been hit by plenty of kudu. Right. Last night... Nope, oh, go ahead. No, I'm mocking the duck. Uh, last night, I was, uh, before I think we stre you streamed, I was just hunting Gemsbok, and it was a group of four, and all four of them charged me. Jeez. Luckily, they were far enough that I was just like, because I had the 338, I was like, bang, hunt shot, okay, next one, you know, bang, bang. Mm -hmm. I dropped him. These things might be a tad too aggressive. Get those genetics out of the herd. Mm hmm. Jump! <laughs> Isn't this the area where uh, Hunter had showstoppers? I, I feel like so. I'm too far north, but it looks like it. It might have been Diamond Jewel. Because I know he's always been saying about how, they, how there's better genetics down there. Oh, all the way down here. So yeah, opposite side of the map. I could be wrong, though. But then again, that's on my list of things to explore, so... Uh. Nice and open. Be a shame if there were animals here! Ridiculous. Okay, there's an animal. Yep, there's a duck. Very nice. <laughs> Dude. No, thanks. <laughs> I choose life. <laughs> In before Doesn't the anybody care the about Sid the Sloth? <laughs> they do this every year! Yeah. Oh uh, god, that's a movie I haven't watched in a long time. I freaking love Ice Age. All of them. I think the last one I actually stopped paying attention to was number three. I like the dinosaur one, but after that I was like, this is stupid. Because there's like five or six of them, right? Because you have five, Ice Age. You have Ice Age 2, which is the meltdown. Yeah. You have Ice Age 3... Which is... Dawn of the Dinos. Dawn of the Dinosaurs, Ice Age 4. 
I don't know. Continental I think Drift. I had to... Yeah, I had something to do with And then Ice Age 5 was the one where they went to space somehow, or Scrat went to space. Yeah. I had the Dodino one. How, even Extinction. I was going, <laughs> no. Yeah, like, okay, this is stupid. <laughs> But something in my head always... I always thought that the Dawn of the Dinosaurs was the fourth one, because I guess that made sense to me. But it wasn't. Mm -hmm. I mean, that and the fact that, like, you know, even a kid's going, wait, when did the dinos live? Because, <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I said it once to Kyla, and she kind of gave me the thing of, please stop telling me these things. <laughs> where... I went into one of her dino hunting streams. I said, you know, Tyrannosaurus Rex and human beings are closer together time-wise than, Tyrann than Tyrannosaurus Rex and Stegosaurus. Right. And she did not like that mind fuck or that mind melt. Yeah, but it's true. Mm -hmm. I'm like, see, this is what you get for listening, for watching Jurassic Park. There was another one that I heard, and it was like Cleopatra lived closer to like, the Twin Towers going down, then she did the building of the Pyramids of Giza. Yeah. I'm like, mm, thanks, I hate it. <laughs> thanks, did you have to mess with my perception of time? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I wish I could go back to, like, sixth grade history. Because I knew all the crap back then, so I got to be the smart kid. There's the one, yeah. I knew it was some major thing happening. That was, like, fairly recent. So who else hates looking at my screen with 8 million waypoints? Yeah, it's kind of how my screen looks, so I'm not too... I've literally had I people do... come in who I, like, I'm fairly close with. They come into my screen streams when I'm doing this, and they're like, mm -hmm. What the hell are you doing? What? <laughs> that was a goose. Don't sass me! Are you what nesting the in the tree? Doing? No, you're flying. <laughs> As I said, I don't think geese can do that first bit. I don't think so either, but... You never know. <laughs> They've evolved. Da 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 And copyright. Yep. I'm just gonna run till I get to like keep it. That's so helpful when I make it the same kind of marker I've been using this whole time. There we go. <laughs> Thought processes. Which I that wish it was happened. the same button in the map and out of the map, if that makes sense. No, I got what you mean. Like if I'm using X for both. Why can't I just keep using X for both? Uh, because insert weird reason here. Mm -hmm. Insert non-existent logic here. Mm -hmm. Damn yeah, it! What... With THQ Nordic. Yeah. <laughs> no, just really confused people. Stamp it with EW. Yeah. EW approved for their competitors. <laughs> I still want to know why we can't remap the button for the map. Uh, That's like the only thing that bothers me right now with this game. That I can't remap all of the keys. Of course, I stop to see if there's something, and there is, and I don't see it. <laughs> I 
I do want, like, some five stars and trophies and stuff. I just don't have the time or mental energy to put into this game. And it's really mm. unfortunate because I might have to stop playing it. Nah. See, that's my kind of thing, like... One of my professors today... Classes don't even start officially till Monday. Sent out a thing that's just like, Hey, this is gonna be your first reading for the class. It's not due until the second class, but just, you know, if you want to get it done, get it done. And it took me an hour to read it because it was like the first chapter and a half of uh, basically uh, Charles Darwin's Origin of Species. Mm -hmm. So all this evolution stuff. And, you know, I'm having to look up because he wrote this in like the 1840s, I think. So I'm having to look up all these words and I'm going, oh yeah, this is why I didn't want to come back. Mm, there it is, huh? Yeah. So, this means my Xbox is going to get a little less used. crawl under that. <laughs> Army crawl. I do love it how, like, because you can't really, uh, prone before you crouch. So I love how it just looks like you're smashing your face into a board. Yes. I've learned many times to not just jump straight over this. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Next DLC is a parachute. <laughs> Next DLC, uh, first aid kit. Yeah. That's one thing that I've always loved about Call of the Wild Logic, though. It's like, oh, you get hit, you get run over by a one-ton buffalo? Here, this green box will do good. Just lights up yeah. your screen like the Flash, or, or the Green Lantern. Yeah. Take your pick. And you're good! Yeah. He fixed ya. No problem. Like, my thought is, the only thing that can be in there is, like, gauze bandages and uh maybe morphine and that's not doing a lot <laughs> yeah at that point you know j just shoot me let me let me do that let me go the buffalo has won and open. But unfortunately, no animals! This is what know. you get for not being on Tick a moon Hush. <laughs> Keep those mean things in your mouth. Uh. See, you call it mean. I just say fat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lob insults at me if they're factual. <laughs> Say that again. I said don't lob insults at me if they're factual. That's what Cole says to me, by the way. When I call him out for Can something, like, on... stupid. Can I get that on a t-shirt? Probably. <laughs> I need that. I need to just give that to my professors. Oops. Hmm. Yeah. Got it. Play the song. Gun hub, shut your mouth. <laughs> hello. Hey, hello. Hello there. General Kenobi, you are a bold one. <laughs> Ahsoka came out yesterday, I just realized, and I have not watched it and do not plan to. Probably my favorite character. Cole likes to re-watch a lot of old shows from his childhood, so, like, he owns the, the Clone Wars TV show on DVD, and he owns, like, a lot of the old Scooby-Doo stuff on DVD. And so he'll re-watch it just whenever he's in the mood for it. Which I understand to an extent, 
but we have very different childhood movies and shows that we prefer to watch. Uh, mm -hmm. I was given free reign over a lot of the movies that we had. Uh, which is probably why I am the way that I am. Uh, <laughs> I was like eight years old when I accidentally put in a scary movie. And to this it. day, so I remember kind of the title. I remember the title, but I'm also confused the title with another like similar genre, if that makes sense. Not genre. So one of them is a documentary and one of them is a scary movie. Okay. But they're both kind of about the Titanic, right? Okay. So one of them is Ghost Ship. And the other one is Ghosts of the Abyss. That was like my first scary movie. I was eight years old. So thanks, Mom. Yeah. Shouldn't have let me have access to the movie cabinet. Uh, but the Ghost other the movies <laughs> that I would like entertain <laughs> myself with for several hours at a time is Pearl Harbor, like the one that came on two discs, mm -hmm. and Lord of the Rings. That, like yeah. that's that was how I entertained myself because I was an only child until I was six, and my mom worked nights, and so like during the day when she was just kind of half awake, I would literally just do nothing but watch those movies all the time. My favorite Lord of the Rings movie is Return of the King. Favorite one, but. I have never seen Lord of the Rings personally. So good. But uh, Cole's stuff was Star Wars. I'm like Star Wars, the Clone Wars, mm -hmm. the TV show. So he and I are both really, really like we love like fantasy books and shows and stuff like that. But he is like science fans fantasy, and I am magic and dragons fantasy. <laughs> Yeah, I got a bit of both, because I grew up watching the Star Wars stuff. Um, and I also grew up reading the uh, Percy Jackson series. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I love Star Wars. I love... The only thing I've never been able to get into, really, is Harry Potter. Like, that's the one I watched. I was movies. in that stuff. And I'm just kind of like, I get it, it's a decent story, but I just don't understand why it has such a, you know, such a cult following behind it, and still does. Mm -hmm. but yeah, but, some of the other, like, early scary movies that I watched that I probably shouldn't have watched, uh, one was Glass House, It Lies Beneath... My first one, I think, was the original Blair Witch. Ooh, Blair Witch 3 was mine out of that series. And, I mean, I watched that first one, and, you know, my brother watches a lot of the um, actual, like, sound footage, you know, the that we're going to show make so much money off of these idiots kind of shows. Mm -hmm. But that was, that's the only, like, found footage thing where I'm like, okay, I've had enough. Good night. <laughs> right. But I think what messes me up a lot is, so since I spent so much of my childhood, like, you know, watching Pearl Harbor, of all things. Mm -hmm. uh, I very easily fall asleep to, like, war movies. Which I have to <laughs> explain to Cole. So he's the type, he'll fall asleep to a cartoon. I fall asleep to a war movie, and I, I promise I have a reason, and it, it makes sense if you think about it. I promise. <laughs> so when it comes to gonna... falling asleep to a war movie, hearing loud Ooh. noises, gunshots, shouting, like that is expected because you know what you fell asleep to. Falling asleep to mm. a funny haha -ha cartoon... And then hearing, you know, loud noises, shouting, and gunshots, that's not what you were expecting to hear when you fall asleep. Big difference. So I'm yeah. like, you know, if I fall asleep to a war movie and I hear, like, that stuff, I'm not concerned, because that's what it's supposed to have. 
not supposed mm -hmm. to be falling asleep watching some happy-go-lucky Scooby-Doo and then wake up hearing, like, you know, gunshots. <laughs> not, yeah, not, not the ride I signed up for. Um, no, I get exactly what you mean, because I used to fall asleep when I was a kid. I'd fall asleep to the cartoons, but my dad was a John Wayne and Clint Eastwood lover, so I would fall asleep all the time to westerns. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, I'd wake up, you know, everyone else would be done watching the movie, but they'd leave the TV on because it would help me, you know, keep me asleep when I was little. And so, you know, I'd wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning and, you know, John Wayne is still firing his Winchester. I'm going, okay, nothing changed. Right. But, you know, I wake up the next morning and, you know, something like the news is on and I went, I'd go ballistic for hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always that was a hated the news channels. My grandparents, so I spent a lot, a lot of time with them because my mom was on night shift. And my grandparents were mm -hmm. the kind of people where you had to watch the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten o'clock news. Because, oh, they're mm -hmm. different. They're not. It's the same frickin' story. Regurgitated eight times. The one star mature moose. Alright. I hated it. I hate the news. I hate watching it. No, thank you. So, I can't remember how long ago it was. So, my grandmother... On my mom's side, she passed this last January, but before, um, when she was about 93, I think, she broke her hip in her apartment, and she had to come and live with me and my mom for a while, and my grandmother, you know, born 1926, so she was very much that person of, you know, she House is like older TV. than her. Yeah. <laughs> Not by much, but my house <laughs> is older than her. But that's the thing is not many things are, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially in America. But oh yeah, but so I would come home for school, and she will have had would have had CNN on volume one hundred for the last five hours, Gross. and I'd come home from school and she would just like she was very you know she was very sweet she was well meaning. But she would try and uh, recite all of the stories that they had talked about. And I'm like, Baba, I just watched the 6 o'clock or the 6.30 World News for 30 minutes, and that's all I need. Yep. That's all I can handle. Please. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Nope, not food. I had the same conversation that I had with my student today. Not food. If it's not food, it doesn't go in your mouth. What did your dog try and put in his mouth? A pencil that I just knocked off my desk. <laughs> See, the thing with my dog at home is just, we've gotten to the point where we just yell, drop it, and she will drop whatever the heck she's got in her mouth. So, I'm looking at your ghost ship movie. Mm -hmm. It's got a whole 15% on Rotten Tomatoes. I bet it does. It's got a 15% from critics and a 37% from the audience. Basically. <laughs> the top consensus with a plot as creaky as the boat, Ghost Ship fails to deliver the scales. Or the scares. I mean, hey, to an 8-year-old, though. That's a scary movie. Oh, yeah. What other movies that I watched way too young? Uh, oh my dad showed me the good of uh, the uh, Dirty Harry series when I was about eight. That scored me for a while. No. Yeah. yeah. Eighth year, an eight year old. Oh my gosh. My I got exposed to Days of Our Lives way too much. <laughs> Oy vey. No, but it wasn't, like, consistent. That. It was, like, over the course of a decade, I was, like, kind of, like, it would be on, and I would be, you know, somewhat exposed to it. Mm. And I'd see it, like, four years later, and I'm like, wait a minute, this character is still doing this dumb whatever it was they were doing? Oh. That, that's the thing with, like, my mom, because, you know, my mom working in a school like you, 
So she doesn't, she's not home nowadays for the soap operas. So it's like she'll go months, you know, on months without seeing them. And then during the summer, she'll tune in to like the first episode in like, you know, eight months. And she'll pick right back up on it. And I'm like, how the hell do you do that? To the same. It's YouTube. I know, and I tell her that. (laughs) It's the same plot line every time. Uh, what what's the thing? Same soup, different spoon. There you go. Oh, that yeah, that's the YouTube approved version. Of yeah, that that's the one we can use. All right, let's. I'm stuck. <laughs> Figure it out, River. Come on, you can do it. What time is it? Okay, so I got uh, like 20 uh, minutes uh, left. I had one. I lost it though. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, we talked about that. I lost it. Yep, now, now it floods back to me. What are you doing? What? My brother just texted me a news story. Apparently, a uh, wild raccoon got into the gorilla exhibit at the St. Lawrence Zoo, or mm-hmm. the St. Louis Zoo, and the gorilla flew it across the enclosure. I bet it did! It's you like, give them something that? they can turn into a projectile, they're gonna do it. <laughs> Why have people not learned this? Like, the girl who gave the what, chimpanzee a bottle of water because she thought it was thirsty or whatever, and then it yeeted it back at her face? People underestimate how smart great apes that are not humans oh are. Oh my gosh. Like, I, how are we not learning these lessons, people? How? It's like how many lesson. examples do we need? Well, it's like, uh, I read an article about the idiots that keep getting charged by bison in Yellowstone. Oh my god. Did I go so friendly? I'm gonna pet it! No! Yeah, Stay was... in your vehicle! <laughs> and the guy that was writing the article said, I know I don't want to, you know, we don't want to discriminate against anybody, but at this point we just need to require an IQ test. Yes! <laughs> Show him a picture of a bison. Do you want to pet it? Yeah. Uh, Turn yeah. around. Turn, Turn around. Give me your Go pass. Disney. Have fun. Give me your parking pass. You're not coming back. I'll be honest. If I'm that kind of per- if I end up after I get done here at college, if I end up at working for the National Park Service, I am just gonna ask people, did you really think that was a smart idea? It was so fuzzy and it looked like it wanted mm-hmm. get out. Get <laughs> out. Because it's like, once in a while, you know, animals attack, and it's, you know, it's hardly uh, ever the it's, Yeah, so it's animal. hardly ever, is it going to be the animal who's that fault? I am with you, Gunhub. That is, that is when National, natural or, selection. Natural selection, yes! Oh my gosh. Because it's like... So you said your mom, I mean, your mom works in a school. Is she a teacher teacher? Or did she do something no, else? No, so she's a... Uh, She's a teaching assistant. A okay, TA. so she does what I do. Basically. Oh, so but I'm like one on one with a single student. Mm-hmm. So, New York State has a whole bunch of different designations. Half of them I don't understand, but she is usually placed in what's called a eight one one classroom, with eight students to one teacher assistant to one teacher. Mm-hmm. So. She deals with the kids who mostly have behavioral issues. And I don't mean like, oh, you know, he's he got, you know, he has issues, you know, medical issues. No, it's just the punks that want to think that they're They're just there because they want to be kind of a pain. Yeah. They can't act on their uh, feelings at home for whatever reason, so they take it out at school. Yep. And then the parents go, but he's a good boy at home. Yeah, home for you. Because you have, you know, legal abilities to not put up with that stuff. We <laughs> do not. not yeah. You have the legal ability to spank the hell out of them. Act- mm-hmm. Sorry, I caught myself again. <laughs> How Flinter does it, I don't know. but <laughs> You have the ability to discipline that child in a way that us at school will never have. Mm-hmm. Which is, yeah, I love doing, like, because here at college, you definitely run into those people. I've written those, up those kids kind of people growing up, like, and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm free from my parents. Now I can really act up. And you're like, get out of my face. I am paying yeah. to be here. 
Whether it's right now a... I'm paying or I'm gonna pay in the future. <laughs> yeah. I had a group of kids last year go to my boss and try and get me fired. Please. All because um, with we had to do room checks before uh, spring break. You know, just to make sure nothing's gonna catch on fire while we're gone. And they had left a little bit of, uh, we'll call it deviled lettuce, mm. out on one of the desks. Romaine lettuce. And I had, yes, romaine lettuce. And I had to write them up because we don't allow romaine on this campus. You know, we're arugula only. Yeah. <laughs> arugula Finish only. Finish acceptable com. with a med pass. <laughs> yes. Um, and they came to my door, like, because the standard procedure is. My boss calls or talks to the residents. The residents set up a meeting, and then they talk about why I wrote them up. I, all I have to do is put in what we call an incident report, and my hand is clean of it. Okay. But they came to my door, asked me if I was the one who wrote them up, and when I said, and I, when I wouldn't tell them why I gave them a write up, they went to my boss and told the, told her that I was treating them unfairly. Uh, due to, let's say, extenuating circumstances. <laughs> and then my boss texted me. I was like, so what's going on with this? And I said, well, here's my side of the story. They have romaine <laughs> lettuce. Goes, oh, that, yeah. Oh, that <laughs> makes sense. Don't worry about it. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Arugula only, and, guys. Yeah. And I wasn't there at the meeting, but apparently she even got the head of basically the dean's office to come in and tell them, so don't do that with the RA because they aren't here to put up with your crap that badly. A F O. Yes. <laughs> so. Yes. There's I a, had no zones there. around this lake. Hmm. Oh, they're like on the marsh. Look at this. They're. Usually they don't go into the lake, they stay out of it. Mm. I wish there was a way in this game that you could, like, sort through which zones were often and which ones were rarely. I want to see that on the map. Yeah, that's what I meant, like... Like, the same kind of thing, like, the UI things with, like, uh... Call of the Wild when everyone was like, yeah, can we just go so we only can see, like, we can only see our whitetail zones, we can only see our moose zones, the green zones, you know? But, like, the trophy manager UI. Why do I need to scroll down for five minutes to find one diamond and put it, to take it out of a multi-mount, and then scroll down another five minutes to do something else? Because I want options like alphabetical, uh, date, tabs for map, tabs for species... Mm -hmm. All that kind of stuff. <laughs> Instead, we get. Don't you want a bob white quail multi now? You want a bobcat? Not a Mexican bobcat, but a bobcat? One just teed me off. Because I'm like, really? We're getting that pedantic about it. I mean, we went from turkey to Merriam turkey when we got the Rio. Oh, badger. Cool. Yeah. I can't think of an, if there was another one like that. Oh, we got we went from puma to mountain lion. Mm. Big difference. I think, yeah, and nowadays I think they did make it so you can interchangeably use them in multi mounts. Uh, supposedly, but, like, but I've never tried it. But it is kind of that funny thing where it's like, really, you guys didn't think about that when you said let's make mountain lions a thing in this game now. But you, all of these zones are at this lake, too. Uh, and I'll bet you you're going to get a five-star badger from that lake. I don't know how. Not going to come get it. Going to die a oh, little yeah, age. I'll pick another good one, the failed pig to the wild hog. And then what was the last one? Feral pig, wild hog, wild pig. Isn't there a third one? Yeah, because they took because it used to be wild, uh, feral pig, feral hog. That's and now what they it just is. Because there's and three of them. Just have it. Yeah. Because the one weird one is Mississippi. Yeah, that's it. 
I have. Yeah, I don't think there's. Next week is other full. Is good with that. So I worked for five days this week, but only three days with the kids. Next week is five mm -hmm. days with the kids. The week after that, we already have a holiday. Labor Day. Yep. And then the week after that, I have a four-day week as well for an in-service. I have a full week, and then the week after that, we have no school on September 29th. What's the 29th? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't don't ask me, I'm just... My calendar just says N for non-work day. <laughs> so that means I <laughs> show it up. But like on the days, so since I have my full year schedule on those days, there could be extra streams and there might just be more than one video the week after. We'll see. Gotcha. So you'll know if I had extra time if there's a Wednesday video. Because like we just had a Wednesday video come out yesterday and that was because I had all the extra time between me leaving my last job to starting this job. Mm -hmm. So is it kind of weird because once you're working in like a food service technically? Yeah. And then to go from that to teaching or so, being one on one with the is it kind of weird? I don't know if I would call it weird because I went to college to teach elementary mm. kids. So like I, I, I quite literally went to college because I was going to get my major done in elementary education. I wanted to be like a second or third grade English and reading teacher. And then my minor was going to be music education because I, I wanted the possibility of moving to like a young kids band director. But I moved while I was in college. So it just that no, I could keep going. No stuff happened. Life happened. But I feel like yeah. this is a, a good timing for me to have a job like this because we're like planning on having kids in the next year. Mm. And like there is nothing wrong with children who have medical, physical, any type of disability whatsoever. There is nothing wrong with them. But I do mm. think that this is really good for me because I'm dealing with what some people do feel is like the worst end of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. And I'm on day two of working with these kids and I've literally had three other people who work in the building come up to me and ask me if I have children of my own. And they've asked me oh. how long I've worked in education and with young kids, if I've had jobs in like daycares, any, like I have been asked so many times in 48 hours because they just mm -hmm. assume that I have young children at home of my own and I don't. <laughs> well, yeah, you do deal with me and Gun Hub pretty often. I do have you boys. I do have my boys, <laughs> which I hope doesn't bother you guys. I, I affectionately refer to like all of my friends as my boys or my girls. That's what you guys are to me. Yeah, like my mods yeah. specifically. Y'all are my boys or my girls. So we get to come to your wedding for free, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're in, we're in I'm not wedding. paying for <laughs> flights. <laughs> Quick, flip the tickets. We get all the food. We can steal the food. There is gonna be burgers and mac and cheese. So like kid friendly with the mac and cheese. <laughs> But no, I think that I think that's really good, Green, that you've already kind of slid in or not well, you know what I mean, kind of gotten into that job and already are hitting it off so well. And I'm I think it's so much easier because I have one on one with just one kid all year. That's mm -hmm. like that's gonna be my kid for this whole year. Oh crap. Hi guys. <laughs> we got so long so deep into a conversation. <laughs> Stay still a little no, bit I get, longer. I get, you, I get what you mean with that, because like, I have Look at him go! Out of 10 when I... oh, he looks alright. Nine times out of ten, when I'm with a child, or, you know, I have to deal with a child, my first instinct is, I wonder how long it is before I can punt this thing. <laughs> Just because, like, most kids that I've run into are like, you know, yeah. okay, why did somebody decide that you were the next step they needed? I think it's but so like, funny, though, 
So my student mm -hmm. cares about three things. That's it. They care about okay. lunch from the moment they get to school. Lunch, lunch, which, mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right after me. Lunch? Me too. <laughs> um, and then after lunch, it's, I want to go play with, they'll pick a specific toy that they want to play with. Like, that's their other thing. This was an adult male, 48%. All right, cool. And then after that, it's mom. <laughs> Bus, mom. Yep. We gotta, you know, go hang out in this room for the next two and a half hours. Learn a little bit, or at least try. Uh, mm -hmm. and you can go ride the bus, go home, see mom. Yeah. <laughs> Just three things. That's it. Food, mom, and a toy. Hey, that's all you need in life for most <laughs> of it. And she's happy. Excuse you. Don't run up here and run me over. Bang. <laughs> Just in case. I'm gonna zoom all the way out. Zero all the way down. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it was like Ooh, a wait, single I... dough. Singular dough. I just had a good thought. So what are we going to call your children then? My kiddos? Like my actual kiddos or like my school kiddo? Okay. The biological. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully they're also going to be my boys. <laughs> my gremlins. Goblins, chaos beings, probably. Okay, I don't. This I don't know if this is YouTube approved. So if it's not, I apologize. But I do not think it is in any way like mean. But my mom's best friend at her school, um, at the school, she has I think a ten-year-old, an eight-year-old, and I think James just turned five or six. He just entered kindergarten, and she refers to them as her crotch goblins yep. and it is the funniest thing on earth <laughs> yeah mine are probably going to be the chaos boys or the chaos monsters chaos kids yeah something to that effect because they really will be <laughs> i know that oh boy all right we're you know, getting some stuff explored i think it just means that you know yeah they have to be born in a cornfield right Mm-hmm. Isn't that just the Iowa? The way in Iowa? Basically. Ah! Be over it! <laughs> hey, Modern. Welcome in. I feel Hi, bad modern. welcoming you in because we're about to leave because it's 626 and like I gotta go by 630. She has to get sleep for her important jobs. No. Uh, that's when the Cole gets home. His job. And what's for dinner then? <laughs> um, well, you can mac ramen. and cheese. <laughs> chicken strips. I had chicken and rice for lunch. Okay, if this has got to be had... it's his own. They have this thing up here in the dining halls where it's uh, like a sushi bowl, mm -hmm. but it's cooked salmon because, you know... Regulations, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's the first time I had it today, and it wasn't bad, but it was like... They asked what I wanted on it, and they all they really had that I wanted was like sriracha, and they had QP mayo, which I've had before, and it, it's okay. But like, I ate the entire thing, and I'm kind of like... So I just kind of ate a piece of salmon with a little white rice on the side. Mm -hmm. I, I do not feel at all, you know, satisfied. <laughs> Guess I'm going to go and get uh, chicken tenders and fries to go with it. I want to see if I can get one of
They're I'm running back. Through. Uh oh. Danger, danger, danger. I'm sorry, I just realized, are you using the 333 on Whitetail? Two forty three, yeah. Oh, okay. It looked like the C uh, three thirty eight, and I'm like, wow. I mean, I get wanting to be ethical, but uh, overkill much. <laughs> I do love the design of the bows, though. They're so like sleek. Wait. It's... Oh, is that act are the bows actually made by a company um IRL or is so, it just like... based on their survey, the bows are mm -hmm. modeled after Hoyt, but they didn't get permission to use the Hoyt name. Gotcha. So it's kinda like how Call of Duty makes the AK forty seven every year with a different name. Yeah. But it is funny that like they got permission from Remington, Steyer, and um... I've never heard of Steyer before. They, um, Steyer mostly makes, um, military weapons. Mm -hmm. Um, they're based out of, I think, Austria. Gunhub's probably gonna correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, <laughs> so, but they recently, they make some good guns from what I've heard, but their predominant market is just military, mil uh, military rifles, assault rifles, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So... But, like, you know, they even got, you know, Remington to give some of their designs up, more or less. You know. Winchester. Like, my favorite. Be. Yeah, that's what I put on the survey, because I'm like, Winchester, I put Winchester and Weatherby were my top two, because that's what my dad used to shoot, and those were the rifles that I used to shoot. See, and um, I put Henry, uh, mm -hmm. what else? I put bear archery bows. Yeah. And then I put something else. <laughs> okay, I put bear archery bows, Henry firearms. I shouldn't have done that. My stuff. Bless you. <laughs> that was actually a hiccup. Whoops. Nope. <laughs> nope. I like that we can now, like, swim, even if it's too deep to walk on. Yeah. And, like, I don't think there's fall damage for landing in water. Hey, maybe I we can't don't... swim in the super deep stuff. <laughs> Jump. You can do it, River. Go, Stuntman. <laughs> Alright, it do be that yep. time, 631. We got pretty good. We got, like, this side done, and we got some extra exploration, even though I only shot, like, four things. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds passive aggressive, but I am happy for you. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. Then again, I am waking up at 5:45 in the morning when my job doesn't start till 8:40. Hmm. But that's for other other job stuff. Seems seems kind of sad. <laughs> Probably. I mean, yeah. I have to make menu. Ooh. See you, Gun Hub. Bye, Modern. Have a wonderful Bye, rest of your Bye, day, Modern. guys. Bye, Bree. Bye. <laughs> Even though it's going to be all awkward.